With a good amount of sunlight, the evacuated tubes will begin to produce heat after a 5 to 10 minute warm up period. There should be an observable increase in the controller's sensor temperature or COL reading on the solar controller. When there is an 8 degree temperature differential between the COL and the tank inlet sensor or TST, the circulation pump should switch on. When the temperature drops 2 degrees, the pump will shut off and will not switch back on until the 8 degree differential has once again been reached. Watch the operation of the pump and controller for at least 3 on off cycles or 15 minutes to make sure that the pump acts as specified, triggered by the temperature differentials. The process may take longer in colder conditions or on an overcast day. Finally, you will need to turn the booster on. To do this, you'll simply need to switch the electricity for the hot water system back on at the meter box. Ensure that the site is left neat and tidy. Take any rubbish with you when you leave. Always take the time to explain the operation of the solar hot water system to the new owner. Finalize your professional Apricus installation by providing the homeowner with their completed STC or VEEC paperwork.